Hey, hey, Tim's Tips here. I'm gonna show you how to reset a Ryobi 48 volt battery that is going out of balance and how I've uh, rebalanced it. So here it goes. So I had fully discharged this uh, $130 battery. I uh, mowed the lawn. I put it under heavy load. The grass was very high uh, and I, I set the, uh, the height adjustment very low. So it was very, you know, under load. It finally cut out and I tried to charge it and I got um, all the lights were blinking. All the green lights on this as shown there were blinking fast, indicating a problem. I tried to put it in the charger and it also blinked green and red, uh, alternate uh, green and red, which indicate uh, a problem with the battery. So I did call Ryobi and uh, they asked me a bunch of questions and it turns out this pack was under warranty. Uh, they looked up the serial number and I did order a new one. However, I thought that it might be easy to fix this. So I'm gonna show you how easy it was. I'm gonna show you how to reset the battery pack. So first you'll need some special tools. Uh, I got these star uh, type tools to, I had one that fit, but it has a little pin in the center. So I had to use a diamond tip uh, Dremel tool to grind the center pin out of there because I didn't have the correct tool for it. But once I, and you can see I, my first attempt was to cut the plastic, which was a big mistake, but I didn't destroy the, the battery. Uh, but definitely you need to open up those screws as shown. The problem that the BMS detected was between the terminal as shown, there's two blobs of solder. Uh, that's between cells. Uh, this particular cell was half a volt lower than the others, indicating a balance problem. So I started to charge that. And uh, meanwhile, I hit the reset. First, here's the power supply I used. It was just a uh, constant current or voltage uh, power supply. Set the current to uh, half an amp and uh, 3.7 volts to match the other batteries in the system. So it automatically will you know, charge at half an amp and then start backing off when it hits 3.7. And uh, here's, here's the secret uh, for this video. There's a reset jumper, it's called RST. I found nothing about this on the web or YouTube. So I figured I'd jump, I'd take the risk and just jump it. So I used the jumper as shown there. Hit the reset and within a, a second or two, I uh, got a couple of lights that flashed indicating that the controller on here was reset. And voila, that brought the, the pack back to life. At the time, the battery, the, the low one was 3.6 volts. So it was within range of the controller. And uh, then I started, you know, check the lights and I got looked like it was half charged. So that's, that was good news. That I'm gonna increase uh, the battery capacity. And then I put it in the charger and it started charging with two, two bars indicated or two lights and charging normally. Thanks for listening. Uh, this is me in 1960, uh, gorging a watermelon and please subscribe. Thanks for listening.